Hi everybody, John Lang here and welcome to my channel. Typically I talk about music related things. Today I'm going to just more have a general conversation about my past and what brought me to where I am today spiritually. So a uh, fair warning, if, if you don't want to hear that then I suggest you move on. But one of the main focuses in my past was that I just always wanted to be in control. And one of the primary reasons was because at a, a young age, like at about the age of 12, I just really got bitten by the music bug and I just had to be successful. And I was gonna do whatever it took to make that happen. And I just used to obsess about it. I would lay there at night in bed and just dream about what would it be like to be famous. I was in some bands as I got up in my upper teens, lower 20s, that were writing our own songs. We were fairly successful. When it got to uh, the mid 80s and I was like in my mid to upper 20s, I, I finally got in a band called Safety in Numbers around Dallas, Texas, and we actually started doing pretty well. We wrote some songs and put out an album and we managed to get a manager that was pretty high powered and he uh, got us auditioned for the TV show Star Search, a national TV show, and we were accepted and we went to Hollywood and went on the TV show. We played five or six showcases for major record labels while we were there. We were actually courted by Capricorn Records for about six months. Thought we were going to sign a record deal, then at the last minute they changed gears on us and decided they were just going to do purely southern rock and we were not southern rock we were more power pop I guess you would say back from the 80s so that was a big disappointment but all along I just was focused on having control and what could I do to further my career um, you know I had some failed relationships and I know that part of that was just because I wouldn't let anything be more important to me than that and if they tried to get in the way, then I would move on. And I think that made me start looking for other avenues spiritually. I, I had actually, when I was in the 6th to 8th grade, I went to a Lutheran parochial school. And I learned all about the Bible and about God and Jesus. And, and I knew what I was supposed to believe, but I could just never really make that leap. In the back of my mind, there was always a... a a gnawing feeling that sooner or later I was going to have to give in to that, but I could just never let go of that and, and give in and believe. So that, that kind of stuck with me for years until I was in my 20s. I started looking for other avenues spiritually. I, I dabbled with things like Scientology and some other things that didn't take me where I wanted to go. And I just would try them for a little bit, find out that there were there were things about them that weren't true. You could just tell that they weren't what was going to get me there. So I I would move on and so I've got as I got older, I I had a kid and watched him grow up and you know it's still in the back of my mind. I just always had this nagging feeling like sooner or later you're going to have to give in. You better do it before you die <laughs> because. By that time, it's too late. Let's face it, folks. And I, I think there's probably other people out there that that know what the real truth is, but they just can't make themselves do it. And you just have to ask yourself the question, how much time do I really have? And, and for me, oh, about 15 years ago, I, I finally made the jump and, and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and from that point on, I was able to give up that control. And I didn't realize what a big relief it was going to be to actually not have to try to make everything go the way I wanted it to, to just let somebody else take the reins for a change. And it's just made life go so much easier for me. I no longer worry about where I'm going to wind up because now I know where I'm going to wind up. I don't have to worry about someday maybe I should do something. 
I don't have to worry about if I die tomorrow. And, and I, that's a question I think everybody needs to ask themselves is if I die tomorrow or if I die today on the way home from work, what's going to happen to my soul? You know, that's a pretty big question. And if you have doubts, I, I would encourage you to do some more investigating. And, and there's a lot of evidence out there nowadays pointing towards the Bible. And, and particularly, you see things happening from Revelation daily. And, and I honestly don't think it's going to be very long before the Lord is going to come and He's going to put an end to this this situation we have now and he's going to take his believers with him and, and I should add that you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you have to repent and it took me a, a while to really get the true meaning of repentance and then one day I saw a definition that really opened my eyes and it said that not only do you have to be sorry for your sins but you have to turn away from sin and once I really grasped that concept it helped me be able to live a, a better life and not have to worry about where I'm gonna go when I die so um anyway I hope that isn't too preachy for you but I just wanted to share that with you if it can help even one person hallelujah um, anyway thanks for listening I hope everybody takes care and God bless Bye.